brother. So we have already seen the development of the kidney. The development of urinary is from the <coughs> urinary bud, which is taking its origin from the mesonephric duct and towards the metanephros. So urinary develops from the urinary bud. Okay. Now what is the development of the urinary bladder? Let us see. <coughs> this is a primitive urinary in our sinus, which is divided into the upper part, that is the vesico urethral canal and <coughs> definitive urogenital uh, sinus. This part is the vesicle continuous with the <coughs> projection that is called the allantois towards the umbilicus. Now the mesonephric duct opens in a junction between the two and from there the urinary bud which is being taken to origin towards the metanephros. Now this allantois obliterate to become a structure called fibrous structure called uracus. Then from the basic urethral canal divides the form ure urinary bladder and primitive urethra. That is the urethra in case of female 4 cm and in case of male it is a prostatic urethra. And then from the uh, uh, definitive urogenital sinus, this is the pelvic part and the phallic part of the definitive urogenital sinus that will be taken up by the genital system and for the formation of the male urethra we will see in next class. Okay. Now this is the junction mesonephric duct opens. This mesonephric duct is now divided. It is a urinary bud originated goes to the metanephros. And this is how the relation between the mesonephric duct and the urinary bud takes place. Now see a part of the posterior wall of the urinary bladder is by the absorption of the uh, mesonephric duct. So mesonephric duct is absorbed and forming a part of the posterior wall of the urinary bladder and primitive urethra. This is very important. You have to remember this. Okay. Now let us see how this two opening cross section is opening. This is the urinary bladder posterior wall. This is the mesonephric of urinary bud that is taking place. Then what happens? We see it is the incorporation of the mesonephric duct and urinary bud into the primitive urogenital sinus. So these are the two openings. Urinary bud and the mesonephric duct opening over there in the internal surface of the urinary bladder. Now with the growth of the urinary bladder, this is how the, the openings are being separated. This is the urinary orifice and these two orifices of the mesonephric duct is taken up by in case of male as the uh, 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 ejaculatory duct. So this is being the two openings and this is guarding a part of the posterior wall of the urinary bladder. And that's called internal trigon of the urinary bladder. So urinary bladder is developing from a part of the hind gut called cloaca. That is endodermal in origin. And the mesonephric duct that is developing from the mesoderm. So it is an internal trigon. Developmentally is developing from the mesoderm. And other part of the wall is developing from the endoderm. Now what are the different anomalies which can be formed in the urinary bladder? Now this is a urethral which is projected from the skin, it is opening there in the skin which is called urethral sinus. This is urinary bladder, is the remaining part of the urethral that is the obliterated allantois, okay. That is called urethral sinus. This is, if the continuity is maintained with the urinary bladder, this is called the urethral fistula. Like the vitone intestinal duct we have seen, the vitone intestinal sinus. Then the vital intestinal fistula and the vital intestinal cyst. Over here you see the part of the proximal distal part of the urethral passes. In the middle there is a cyst like structure. This is called urethral cyst. So these are the congenital anomalies which can happen uh, when there is the formation of the different congenital anomalies of the urinary bladder. Now if this fistula is there, then what happens? The urine will flow through the urinary bladder through the umbilicus. So when the baby is born and the urine is coming through the umbilical, then it is a point that there is a presence of the urethral fistula is present in the baby and that should be surgically corrected. Okay? This is all about the development of the uh, urinary bladder and explanation why the internal trigon is mesodermal in origin. This is an explanation. This comes and explain why. And these are the different variety of the abnormalities of urethras which comes as your short note. You have to write about this. Okay? Explain why the urine comes out through umbilicus. Newborn baby, the urine is coming out through the umbilicus. This is the, or the reason why there is a uh, urine, urine comes through this 
umbilicus in case of newborn okay this is all about the urinary bladder